South Korean tech giant Samsung Electronics expanded its stake in the global NAND flash market, maintaining the world's top position. Our Eum Ji Young has the details. Samsung Electronics expanded its presence in the global NAND flash market in the second quarter of this year, continuing to hold the biggest market share. In a report released by market tracker TrendForce, the South Korean tech giant had 34 percent of market share in terms of sales in the April to June period, up 0.5 percent on quarter. Also, it logged second quarter sales of around 5.59 billion U.S. dollars, up 12.5 percent from the previous quarter. Samsung's growth outperformed the industry average of 10.8 percent during the second quarter. NAND flash memory chips are primarily used to store data in devices, including smartphones, cameras, and data center servers. The report said the growth in sales was mainly driven by strong chip demand and price hikes. Strong demand for computers and storage devices like solid-state drives led to an increase of some 8 percent in shipments for NAND flash chips and a roughly 5 percent rise in prices compared to a quarter earlier. South Korea's second-largest chipmaker SK Hynix ranked fourth with 12.3 percent market share. But after its deal to acquire U.S. tech giant Intel's memory chip unit gets approval from regulation authorities, it is expected to be the world's number two NAND flash chip manufacturer with around 20 percent of the market share. Japan's Kioxia was a runner-up player in the market with around 18 percent of share, and United States' Western Digital had about 15 percent, ranking the third. Meanwhile, one of the world's major contract chipmakers, TSMC, is reportedly raising its prices as much as 20 percent, which is said to cause significant impact on the global semiconductor market. According to Japanese news outlets, the Taiwanese semiconductor foundry's higher price is expected to take effect late this year or next year, although the spokesperson declined to comment on actual prices. Amid the global semiconductor shortage, this would be the company's steepest single raise. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.